Today we're going to talk about the isoelectronic series, and that's when you have a whole bunch of ions that have the same number of electrons. And so first let's look at this particular isoelectronic series dealing with uh, neon, sodium, magnesium, fluorine, and oxygen. So if we look on the periodic table, you can find neons over here. So neon is element number 10, which means it has 10 protons and 10 electrons. Uh, fluorine has 9 protons and 9 electrons. So let's, let's look at how they are related. So we said neon has 10 protons and 10 electrons, right? And I said fluorine has 9 protons and 9 electrons. So neutral fluorine is not isoelectronic with neon, but if fluorine was able to gain an electron, so suppose it gain, gains an electron, it becomes fluorine minus, uh, then it's going to gain an electron, and now he has 10 electrons. And so now they are isoelectronic. Uh, if you look at where oxygen is in the periodic table, oxygen is right next to fluorine, has 8 protons and 8 electrons. So if he has 8 protons and he gains 2 electrons, we started with 8 protons, 8 electrons, now he gains 2, he, he has 10 electrons, and he will be isoelectronic with these guys as well. Uh, if we look at sodium, Sodium's over here. He has 11 protons, 11 electrons. So he's got 11 and 11. In order to get him to be isoelectronic, he's going to lose an electron. If you lose something negative, you become more positive. So sodium will have a plus charge. And then magnesium had 12 protons and 12 electrons. He's going to give up 2. So if he had 12 and 12, he's going to give up 2 and, and gain a uh, plus 2 charge here. And so he'll be isoelectronic. So now if you want to figure, so this is an isoelectronic series because they all have the same number of electrons and you have a whole bunch of ions here, some are positive, some are negative, some gained electrons, some lost electrons in order to be isoelectronic. And now we want to compare their sizes. So if you think about what's happening here, um, who, has, who has the most number of protons? So magnesium here has uh, 12 protons and he only has 10 electrons. Everyone has 10 electrons. But magnesium has uh, 12 protons, so that means he's the most positive, right? He has the most protons in his nucleus, he's the strongest magnet pulling in those electrons, so he's probably going to be the smallest one. So down here you can see magnesium 2 plus in this chart is the smallest out of these four um, ions that we have listed. Neon's not in this chart, we're just looking at the ions. Uh, sodium has uh, 11 protons, so he has a, a, a slightly less powerful magnet than, than magnesium, so he's going to be a little bit bigger than uh, he's going to be a little bit bigger than magnesium. And then look at oxygen and fluorine, uh, they're going to be even bigger. So oxygen only has 8 protons and 10 electrons. So because he has the fewest number of protons, he has the weakest magnet, he's going to be able to pull those in not quite as tight as everybody else. So he's going to be the biggest, and magnesium 2 plus will be the smallest. So if we have here, so what do we have here in, in an ionic series, an isoelectronic series, uh, size decrease, decreases with increasing nuclear charge. So the more positive the charge is, if everybody has the same number of electrons, that's what we mean by isoelectronic. If everyone has the same number of electrons, whoever has the most positive charge is going to be the smallest, whoever has the most negative charge is going to be the biggest. And it's because electrons are, are what's really taking up the space in the, uh, in the ion or the atom. Yep, so it's going to expand whenever you um, gain electrons. All right, let's see if we can answer these questions. So in an isoelectronic series, so here's another isoelectronic series. Let's look at what that, where that is on the periodic table. We have rubidium, strontium, and yttrium. So 37, 38, and 39. So this guy has 37 protons, he has 38, and he has 39. Now, if rubidium was neutral, he would also have 37 electrons, but he has a positive charge. So what does that mean? He gained. Uh, he lost an electron, so he has more protons than electrons. Uh, strontium lost two electrons, so that's going to give him 36. And yttrium lost three electrons, so that will also give him 36. So you see how everybody here has 36 electrons. This is another isoelectronic series. So in this series, who do you think is going to be the biggest? Who's going to be the smallest? So whoever has the most protons has the strongest magnet. He's going to be able to pull them in a lot tighter. So yttrium should be the smallest and uh, rubidium should be the biggest. So RB is the biggest and uh, yttrium is the smallest. Oh, smallest. There we go. 
let's try another one. Uh, arrange the atoms, these following atoms, in order of, of decreasing size. So let's see how, how big these are. So we're looking at potassium, chlorine, calcium, and strontium. We're doing the same thing that we did before. So we're looking at um, oops, calcium, chlorine, did I say strontium? I meant sulfur and chlorine. So sulfur has 16, chlorine has 17. Right, sulfur has 16, chlorine has 17. And if you go back over to potassium is 19 and calcium is 20. Potassium is 19 and calcium is 20. So we're assuming this is an isoelectronic series. Let's just double check, check that. So if calcium has 20 protons, if it's neutral, it has 20 electrons, he's going to lose two electrons, so that's going to give him 18. Uh, sulfur here gained two electrons, so he's going to have 18. Um, chlorine, what did he do there? He gained an electron, so he's going to have 18. And potassium lost an electron, so he's going to have 18. So when you look at these, and you try to figure out who's going to be the biggest, who's going to be uh, the smallest. So what do you think? Whoever, whoever's going to be the smallest is going to be the one that has the, 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 the highest charge here. So whoever has the most protons, so calcium 2 plus has the most protons, so he's going to have the strongest magnet, he's going to be able to pull everyone in a lot tighter. So calcium 2 plus is the smallest, <laughs> and um, sulfur should be the biggest because it has the fewest number of electrons, the uh, fewest number of protons. Everybody has the same number of electrons.